Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Toronto gunman just identified and it's bad. Media strangely silent. Day before yesterday, I saw the headlines go by that there had been a horrific shooting in Toronto, Canada. I expected for it to be splattered all over the media and networks. Not so much. It only got passing coverage and the media was strangely silent not only in its general coverage but in who had committed the crime. It took a full day before they claimed they had identified the suspect. I suspect he was identified not long after the event took place considering cameras and witnesses to the carnage. But the media apparently did their level best to hush it up as long as they could. When they did report on it, the shooter was painted as a victim as well. Typical. Two were killed and many others were injured when a shooter clad in black calmly walked up to a restaurant and other stores in the Danforth Avenue area of Toronto and just started shooting at random people with a look of sheer hatred on his face. One man who witnessed the shooting said the shooter had a horrible expression on his face. The first hint at an admission that it might be terrorism came from Fox News last night. Today, they are blaming the attack on mental illness. The two are not mutually exclusive no matter what the media and authorities claim. A video caught the shooting as the killer turned and just started mowing people down. The shooter was eventually pegged as a white male. No surprise there. It's always a white male until it isn't. The shooter turned out to be a Muslim man named Faisal Hussain. Canada has taken Europe's talking points to heart on terrorism and instead labeled it as mental illness. Then the mayor of Toronto, of course, called for GN control. Why does anyone in this city need to have a GN at all? Oh, I don't know. Because of something like this? This man probably didn't get his GN legally and the issue isn't GS at all. It's hatred. If someone comes after you with a knife or a GN, it's convenient to be able to fight back with more than a chair or rocks. That's a good way to get dead and fast. Ontario's Special Investigations Unit, SIU, released Hussain's identity on Monday evening, hours after the 29-year-old Toronto resident opened fire on a number of Danforth Avenue restaurants in an attack that has rocked the city. According to a source who has met the shooter's family, Hussain was the son of Canadian parents of Pakistani origin, who have been struggling through major challenges. Witnesses caught images and videos of the mass shooting that went viral. The attack happened at approximately 10 p.m. Sunday night. A 10-year-old little girl and an 18-year-old named Reese Fallon died during the attack. Of the 15 victims shot in the rampage, 8 were female. The surviving 13 victims range in age from 17 to 59 years old and remain in the hospital with injuries ranging from minor to critical. Some have had to undergo multiple life-saving surgeries, according to doctors. Hussain was shot and killed in a shootout with Toronto police. The SIU initially was looking into whether he was shot by police, or if he shot himself. They now say he committed suicide. On Monday, a search warrant was executed at Hussain's residence in the city's Thorncliffe Park neighborhood. Hussain had severe mental health problems, according to his family. You think? Hussain's family emailed a statement to CBC Toronto saying they are devastated by what happened and that their son was struggling with severe mental health challenges, including psychosis and depression. We are at a terrible loss for words but we must speak out to express our deepest condolences to the families who are now suffering on account of our son's horrific actions, the family statement said. While we did our best to seek help for him throughout his life of struggle and pain, we could never imagine that this would be his devastating and destructive end. Somehow. That last part rings incredibly hollow at this point. Friends and neighbors described him as incredibly shy and quiet. Sociopaths usually are, and doesn't this always seem to be the case? Amir Sukara ran a public speaking club, Toastmasters, that Hussein attended. He said Hussein told him he had psychosis and depression and was seeing a psychiatrist. Seems to me he was pretty chatty for a murderous introvert. I thought, Toastmasters, would be a good idea for him, it might help him open up and speak, he said. And through the process, I discovered he had some sort of mental illness and that he was seeking help for it. Sukara said Hussein was polite, humble and reserved and that he wasn't violent. Until of course, he was. During the attack, Hussein, dressed all in black with a black baseball cap covering part of his face, calmly walked down the Danforth Avenue sidewalk before turning and firing a black handgun into a restaurant. The media is making a big deal of the black handgun. I guess black makes it scarier somehow. It could be pink and his victims would be just as dead. Other witnesses said he zigzagged across the popular street, the heart of Toronto's Greek town, just to pick off targets. They are still claiming no motive is known, but they have not ruled out terrorism. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure they already know it's terrorism. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. 
Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.